Hi guys, uh, my name is Tyler and I am recording this video to talk about a cool little project that we did. So we did in our class something called spaghetti dentures, which um, our professor made dentures out of spaghetti, but we were able to use whatever material we wanted. Um, so the task was to create a denture. We haven't been given any um, instructions on how to make dentures or anything, but he just gave us this cool little model and said, and a set of teeth and said, go ahead, make some dentures, um, be creative and whatnot. So initially, when I tried to make this guy, let's see if I can pull it up. One of the, um, the goals is to have it suspended in air without it falling out, so I just wanted to show that. And then also it has to easily come on and off. So um, one of the goals with this guy, like I said, suspending its gravity, all the teeth have to stay in. Um, Initially, when we got this project, I thought I could use a plumber's putty of some sort, um, but I wanted to use food. It was more enjoyable, and you can snack on it when you're making it. So initially, I wanted to use these fruit chews, these Tootsie Pops, but when I placed them onto this stone model, they stuck pretty hard, um, and the first attempt just kind of pulled it all off. So after having my hopes and dreams crushed of doing this project really fast. I um, just had to sit and think a little bit. Um, my roommate was using airheads, so I just grabbed a, a few of them. Um, and I placed them on the mold. And then one thing that I found with the airheads too is that they stuck just like the, t the fruit chews. So what I did was I placed some tin foil on the back to make it so it wouldn't just stick to the mold and every time you pulled it off it would deform. Um, one other thing that we did was that, or that I did, excuse me, was that I set out in the garage because I thought uh, just sitting overnight would harden it. And when I woke up this morning, it was uh, pretty bloated and the teeth were kind of everywhere. So what I did was I placed a thin layer of glue just around all of what would be the gingiva the hard palette and stuff like that. Um, and that seemed to work pretty well because it comes on and off and it stays, it keeps its form really well. Um, one thing that was hard was that when I screwed up the first time, it was pretty, uh, I think I was just more just aggravated because I wanted to study for other classes and stuff. So uh, it, was, it was frustrating to fail. However, um, after trial and error and after a number of runs, so there had stuck at first, so you added, I added tape, the tape didn't work, so I added tin foil. It's like, great, that works. Place the teeth in, the teeth were, um, actually placing the teeth was hard too because I wanted to place them right along the ridge so it looked like a normal smile. So I found that that was actually pretty difficult as well. Um, and then when I thought I was done and I was sitting in the garage, so this is in the model, um, it, then melted, so I was like, well, I need to find something so it doesn't deform uh, or figure out something. So I just added that thin layer of glue and it's been good so far. Um, but yeah, it was super fun to make and I enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you want, you can go ahead and try to make your own spaghetti denture. Thank you. 